Let's talk about how to add a dashed or dotted line text effect to our text in Adobe Illustrator. Let's dive right in. Whether you came from my other dashed line tutorial or you're here on your own, I'm going to show you everything you need to know. Let's go. All right, so we want to add some text to our document first, right? T, pretty easy. It's the type tool. I'm going to go ahead and just click on my document and we will add dashed line effect or dashed line text effect, something like that. Anyway, I'm going to select this text and we're going to make it a little bit bolder, right? Integra is a neat font for that. We're going to do extra bold and we're going to increase its size so I can see it out here like so. And you guys can see it as well. And then I cannot have this line spacing be that far apart. So we're going to bring that in a little bit. Okay. So this character panel, if you want to adjust yours in the same way, you can go up to window down to character or actually it's going to be in some other space. I believe it's going to be in type. Yes, there it is. Character and paragraph and everything is there. Okay. So select our text really quick and easy guys. All you have to do is add a stroke to your text. I'm going to add five points. Now my appearance panel is over here in the properties. You can also drop that down under window appearance. I'm going to remove my fill. So now it's just a, uh, a stroked, text effect, right? Go into my stroke options and immediately I can click dashed line. Now this adds whatever the heck I had going on before, but I'm going to delete out each one of these and just have a dash, a simple dash on here. And we can hold shift or just use our arrow keys as well to go up by 10 or down by one or two. And we can create the dash line effect that we want and the spacing of our dash. Now this right here is going to affect the width of our dash. The weight of the stroke is gonna affect essentially the height of our dash. So if we did 10 by 10, you might notice that our dash is gonna be just a bunch of squares going around our text. Now I like to use the arrow keys for this because it's gonna show me immediately what this dashed line looks like and we can completely adjust it. And right now this text is still editable. So if I wanted to say dashed line text effect, I can come in here and still type with this. The other thing I can do, because when you start to look at this, I feel like the letter spacing is too close. I can then adjust those types of parameters as well and just bump out those letters so that this effect looks a little bit better and doesn't look too bunched up. Now with this dashed line effect, if you keep looking at some of these options, you can actually round off the caps. So now it's like I have little tic tacs going around. I'll zoom in here a little bit for you. So we've got a little tic tacs going around because we rounded the caps. Instead of being squared off, these dashes are round. And for that, it's gonna increase the width of the dash. So you might need to maybe edit this as well. The other thing you can do is start adding some gaps with more dashes. So we could add two 12 point gaps. And then we could say, okay, one of these dashes is gonna be 10 points. And the other dash is gonna be 20 points. And so now you see there's a 10 point dash and a 20 point dash with 12 point gaps in between each. So that's how you can start to customize this dashed line to look the way you want it to look. A cool little effect is if you do one point. So I'm gonna do a 10 point dash with a one point dash. It kind of looks like a little dot out there, right? And you could do one point all around if you wanted and it's gonna look like dotted text rather than dashed but I can do the 10 point and then one point dot, just adds a little bit of flair to it. You guys can customize this in any way you want. You might notice there are some pros and cons here because you can't actually select all of the stroke options. There's a couple you can't do. You can't align it to the inside or outside of the text. You can't adjust it so that it stays with the corners or not or preserves the corner appearance. The reason for that is because this is still editable text. So it's great, it's great that it's editable. I love non-destructive editing. What we could do is just keep this editable piece over here for the time being, and then select this text. Shift Command or Control O is the shortcut key to outline the text. Now, this text is now just a bunch of shapes that are like letters. So you cannot edit this anymore, we cannot reverse this. But we do have some pros here on the stroke options. If we go in, we can see now that we can actually align this to the inside or the outside of those text shapes. This can be helpful, it might not be, it just depends on what you're working on. The other thing that we can do is actually, when it's aligned to the center, like it normally is, 
we can actually select this one here, which aligns the dashes to the corners and the path ends, which will then adjust the length to fit and make sure you retain your corners. I actually like this one the best for the look. Notice how when I click on it, all the corners of the shapes, like where this D has corners, where the A has all these corners, those pieces will now stay there. And it's easiest to see if I go ahead and delete out all of our little gaps and extra dashes, we just have a 10 point dash and watch as I go up and down with that amount or spacing, the corners stay put, they don't move. And then essentially it's going to try to fit as many perfectly spaced sized dashes in between as it can. So sometimes it doesn't affect anything, sometimes it does, but it's always gonna keep the corners sitting there. I really like that effect to preserve the actual letters, because sometimes with the other way, when you perfectly space it out, the letters don't look as good, but there's definitely pros and cons to that, right? Now it's not exactly the dashes that I want, so maybe it's I need to adjust that a little bit or not, I'm not sure, but that is one way and one thing you can do when you've outlined your text versus it being editable. Now I think I've covered everything that I can think of when it comes to adding a dash line text effect to your text, whether it's editable or the text is outlined itself. If you guys have any questions or if I didn't answer something or explain it correctly, make sure you hit me up in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more Illustrator tutorials. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. And I'll see you next time.